In the world of pop music, a great album opener does not just kick things off, it sets the tone for everything that comes after. In this video, we look at 10 albums with the perfect intro. 25 by Adele Adele's third studio album, 25, was one of the most anticipated releases of 2015, and it did not disappoint. The opening track, Hello, set the tone for a great album from the moment Adele's voice cuts through the silence with Hello, It's Me, You're Hooked. The song is a powerful ballad that perfectly encapsulates the album's themes of nostalgia, regret, and reconciliation. The haunting piano melody combined with Adele's incredible vocals, creates a grand atmosphere, setting the stage for the emotional journey 25 takes you on. Hello wasn't just a perfect intro, it was one of the biggest reasons for the album's success. It became a cultural phenomenon, topping charts worldwide and reaffirming Adele's status as one of the best voices of her generation. Lemonade by Beyonce Lemonade is one of the best albums of all time and its opening track, Pray You Catch Me, sets a hauntingly beautiful tone. It starts off quietly, with soft, almost whisper-like vocals, as Beyoncé sings about the pain of betrayal. You can feel the tension and vulnerability in her voice, as though she is on the edge of a major emotional breakdown. The first lines, you can taste the dishonesty that's all over your breath, set the stage for the story told on the album. The understated production allows Beyoncé's vocals to shine, conveying a sense of raw emotion that draws the listener in. As the opening track to an album that delves into infidelity, Pray You Catch Me is the perfect introduction, laying the groundwork for one of the most legendary albums of the 2010s, Lemonade. After Hours by The Weeknd the Weeknd's After Hours is the biggest and most defining album of his career. The album kicks off with Alone Again, a song that perfectly captures the dark and moody vibe of the entire album. From the start, the listener is pulled into an atmospheric soundscape filled with heavy synths and haunting vocals. The first lines, take off my disguise, I'm living someone else's life, set the tone for the journey the album takes you on. The song talks about isolation, self-reflection and feeling lost, all of which are the major themes throughout the album. Alone Again also introduces the character that The Weeknd embodies throughout After Hours, someone dealing with fame, heartbreak and excess. It's like opening a door to a twisted night out, where nothing is what it seems. The track's slow build-up mirrors the emotional highs and lows that define the album, setting you up for a roller coaster ride. Control by SZA Control is a modern classic that solidified SZA's status as one of the brightest stars going into the 2020s. The album opens with Supermodel, a brutally honest song about insecurity and heartbreak. The song's intro is almost bare, with only SZA's raw vocals and simple guitar strumming. It is an incredibly personal song where SZA confesses to be abandoned by a lover and expresses her feelings of unworthiness. The vulnerability in her voice makes it feel like you are reading her diary. The song is a perfect straw to control, which is filled with songs about love relationships, self-doubt and insecurities. Supermodel sets the tone for the entire album, which feels like a conversation with a friend who isn't afraid to be completely honest about their fears and flaws. The simplicity of the track's arrangement also makes it stand out as a beautiful and introspective moment. Daydream by Mariah Carey Daydream is Mariah's fifth studio album released back in 1995. The classic album opens with fantasy, and right away, you know it's going to be a fun ride. The song is upbeat, carefree, and infectious, with a sample from Tom Tom Club's Genius of Love, adding a funky vibe. It's the kind of song that makes you want to get up and dance. In contrast to some of the slower, more emotional tracks later on the album, Fantasy kicks things off with a burst of energy. What makes this intro perfect is that it's the ultimate feel-good anthem. Mariah's vocals are as strong as ever, hitting those signature high notes, while the song's playful lyrics talk about daydreaming of an ideal love. This sets up the album's blend of upbeat tracks and emotional ballads, making fantasy a timeless classic that still resonates today. It was a huge hit too, peaking at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Whitney by Whitney Houston Whitney Houston's sophomore album Whitney 
kicks off with the infectious I wanna dance with somebody who loves me, a song that would become one of her signature hits. The song's energy and undeniable groove immediately draw listeners in, setting the stage for an album filled with powerhouse vocals and emotional depth. As the intro to Whitney, this song not only showcases her vocal chops, but also her ability to deliver pure pop joy. It's a perfect opening song that puts you in a good mood. It is one of the biggest songs of the late 80s, solidifying Whitney's place as a pop icon. The song topped the charts in numerous countries, including the US, where it became her fourth consecutive number one on the Billboard Hot 100. The song's success helped the album become the first album by a female artist to debut on number one on the Billboard 200. 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars When Bruno Mars dropped 24K Magic, he wasn't just releasing an album he was throwing a party. The title track kicks off the album with a bang. From the very first notes, you know you're in for a fun, funky, high energy ride. The song oozes confidence and joy, showcasing Bruno's signature blend of retro influences and modern flair. The song's undeniable groove set the tone for an album that is all about celebrating life with a throwback to the funk and R&B sounds of the 80s and 90s. With 24 Karat Magic, Bruno reintroduced himself as the life of the party, and the song's infectious energy made it an instant classic, reached number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100, and won a Grammy for Record of the Year. The album itself dominated the charts, and won multiple Grammy awards, including Album of the Year. Thriller by Michael Jackson Thriller is the most legendary album of all time, opening with the pulsating beats of Wanna Be Start in Something. It immediately grabs your attention. This song is the perfect introduction to an album that would go on to become the best selling album of all time. With its infectious rhythm, energetic vocals, and the iconic chant of Mama Say Mama Sa Mama Cosa, the track is a bold declaration of MJ's intent to push boundaries and create something truly groundbreaking. The song combines elements of funk and pop and is an unforgettable opener that sets the tone for the genre-defining album that follows. While Wannabe Starting Something wasn't initially released as a single in the US, it still became a hit, peaking at number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song's success, alongside the rest of the album, cemented MJ's status as the king of pop. Red by Taylor Swift Taylor Swift's Red opens with State of Grace, a soaring anthem that perfectly encapsulates the album's themes of love, heartbreak, and self-discovery. The song's production, blending rock and pop elements, introduces a more mature and complex sound for Taylor, signaling her evolution from a country star to a pop powerhouse. With its powerful lyrics and catchy melodies, it sets the emotional tone for an album that explores the highs and lows of young adulthood. It's an intro that draws you in and gets you ready to hear more of the stories on the album. Although it was not released as a single, State of Grace received critical acclaim and charted on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 13. Red itself was a commercial success, debuting at number 1 on the Billboard 200 and earning Taylor a Grammy nomination for Album of the Year. Born to Die by Lana Del Rey Lana Del Rey's Born to Die begins with this haunting title track, setting the stage for an album steeped in melancholy and cinematic beauty. It is a great ballad that introduces us to Lana's unique blend of vintage glamour and modern sounds. The song's haunting melodies and introspective lyrics immediately draw you into her world. As the album's opening track, it establishes the mood that defines the rest of the album, making it a perfect intro. Born to Die was a commercial success reaching the top 10 in several countries, peaking at number 9 in the UK. The album itself was a critical and commercial success, solidifying Lana's status as a major force in pop music. Which perfect intros did I miss? Tell me in the comments below.